So hey guys, what's up? So welcome to my news channel. So starting from the first news, United Kingdom MPs worst on Brexit deal ruled out by House Speaker. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson suffered another setback on Monday when the House of Commons Speaker refused permission to allow another vote on the Brexit agreement he reached with Brussels on late Thursday on the ground that it would be repetitive. Speaker John Burke ruled much to the chagrin of the ruling benches that allowing the vote again would go against the long-standing convention stipulating that the same motion has been conceded previously by the House cannot be brought again in the same session. He said today's motion is in substance the same as Saturday's motion and the House has decided the, the matter. Today's circumstances are in substance the same as Saturday's circumstances. The motion will not be debated today as it would be repetitive and disorderly to do so. The House had debated the agreement in the special session on Saturday and voted for an amendment that forced the government to seek a delay to the October 31st Brexit date. Refusing the permission in provoked charges of bias against the Speaker, the Johnson government accused critics of resorting the procedural tricks in Parliament to show that Brexit does not happen on October 31st due to the short time remaining before the Brexit date. The government faces a challenge to get a required legislation passed on, under the amendment passed on Saturday. The agreement cannot come into force until the legislation called the Withdrawal Agreement Bill is passed. The Wallonist Bill was expected to be published on Monday evening. The bill will be subject to amendments, debates and votes in both the Houses of the Parliament. The government hopes to complete the process before October 31st with the European Union leaders awaiting the outcome before declining on the request to delay the Brexit date. The bill's purpose is to turn the withdrawal agreement reached by Johnson last week into United Kingdom law and to give the government permission to ratify it. The agreement sets out the terms on which the United Kingdom will leave the European Union on Monday, Scotland's High Court delayed a decision on whether Johnson fully complied with the law when he sent two contradictory letters to Brussels on Saturday to seek an extension to the Brexit date. One signed and other unsigned, the government argued in the court of session that legal obligations were fulfilled, just said the case should be continued until it was clear that the obligations under the legislation had been compiled within full. Meanwhile, the European Union accepted the letters sent by Johnson that requested a Brexit delay and was considering it. This was sent in compliance with Section 1 of the Bain Act. Brexit Secretary Steve Buckley said the President of the European Council has accepted the request as well and indicated it considering it uh, consulting it with member states so move to the back news canadian election justin trudeau post for a weekend mandate canadians streamed out to vote on monday as the country held its 43 general election with surveys predicting minority government as prime minister justin trudeau liberal party risk losing its majority for even losing office the liberals and the conservatives led by andrews could be set for a near dead hit with Pudits calling it one Canada's closest election ever. The first ballots were cast in the provinces of Atlantic Canada at 7 30 a.m. and are scheduled to close 14 and a half hours later, with the last worst cast in Western Canada. Counting with biggest ones, polls one hours before Canadians had it for the polling booths to the focus on what could prove the deciding factor in the federal election, the turnout. It's always important that people can get out and vote, he said during a campaign event in British Columbia. The call to voters to make the difference in the closest of the races underscored the critical nature of the ground game. University of Toronto, Scarborough political scientist Andrew Magog told Overall, Trudeau's party is tied with the rebel conservatives in voter preference. However, when it comes to winning actual seats, national broadcaster CBC poll tracker forecast 137 for the ruling party and 124 for the position conservatives 
Nato's research showed the conservatives leading by just half a person. Over the Liberals, the overall vote in its preference election either. Neither of the two major parties appear to have a clear path to a majority which is 170 of the 338 seats. Nearly 60 of the contests could be decided by slim margins, making turnout crucial. Although Trudeau is the first runner or is expected to return as PM of to Ottawa, his image that has been tainted by ethics lapses while his campaign was rocked by the emergence of all photographs of him in the blackish makeup.